What up farm? So today is an exciting day for our cropping operation because our fertilizer, or some of it, some of our MAP phosphorus based fertilizer is being delivered. We saw it on farm and um, this year it's expensive. There's a worldwide shortage of it and um, that's just caused the price to go up. So this year is going to be probably the most expensive year ever that we've had to put crop in. And um, yeah, we're just going to ride the wave. But this is the first step for the 2022 crop. unhook that and he's moved this one back over the um, turntable so he's able to back onto this hopper and then auger it into the bin. All right guys, it's Monday morning, the 28th of February, and um, some exciting news. We had 11 mils of rain overnight. Um, now it's too early to do too much good at the moment. It'll get some subsoil moisture down below. Um, and it might get some summer weeds growing, but anyway, it's just nice to have a bit of rain around the place. All right, so it's the 1st of March today. I'm just over at the rain gauge and we have had, oh, one mil. Well, that's disappointing. I was expecting quite a lot more than that. But anyway, it's something. It's raining at the moment. Oh, come on, you stupid thing. I got it. One mil is more than nothing. We'll put it in the, um, in the app and um, get to work. All right, so this morning, Dad and I both forgot about it, but we're going to get some carrots. So these are the carrots that we got. Yum. Who loves carrots? They're all chopped up like that. This is part of our pest control program. This is aimed at killing rabbits because whether you're growing grain or whether you're growing sheep, the rabbits are a problem in eating either the sheep feed or eating the plants that are growing the grain. So what we do, we'll give the rabbits two free feeds of just plain carrots. And then on the third time, we'll give them a feed of carrots that have some poison on them. So they eat the carrot and then they die. Um, and this is just to keep the rabbits at a manageable level because if we didn't do anything about it, they would just overrun our properties in plague proportions. But we'll do the carrots later on. Right now, we're going to go and get some of our ewes in. We're going to drench and needle them, ready for them to have their lambs. Hey! Hey! So it's going to seem like I'm jumping all over the place in this video and that's really because I am. We're on the road again back home, Dad's up there. It 
we thought it was gonna keep lightly raining all day today, but the sun has come out, as you'll be able to see, and it is hot. It is very hot and it's very humid. It's really uncomfortable working outdoors. Um, so because we have the carrots that I picked up this morning on the back, we're going to head back home and put them out where our rabbits are the worst. Um, and the sheep that we left that we haven't drenched and vaccinated will get onto them in the morning when it's not quite so warm. So that's the plan. We'll see you when we're back home where we're going to bait some rabbits. Hey little fella. Here's a little echidna. How cool is that? Why did the echidna cross the road? I don't know. Alright, so this little contraption here, we bought it back from on and on the back of Dad's ute. And it is the bait layer. So what we've got up here is a disc that when we get to our spot we'll put in the ground which scratches a channel or a, a bit of a mark in the ground for the rabbits to run along and find the carrots and then this thing which is the hopper which is where the carrots go and through this belt and the drive of the wheels it actually spins and meters out these little piles of carrots as you're going along anyway let's go and give it a try all right, this is where we're gonna start. <laughs> See, this trail is where we did it last year. Um, over there is some new loosen that we've shown and the corner of that paddock has just been smashed by the rabbits. Like they've eaten it to the point where I don't know if it'll survive. But anyway, we'll have to wait and see, but there's a lot here. And this is the best time of year to do it because there's not much feed around, so Hopefully, they'll eat a lot of carrots. So Dad's opened the hopper here, and it's gonna get some off the back of the ute. There we go. Don't they look delicious? Tighten it down. And he's put this tension arm in. So we've got tension on it, so as we drive along, this should spin. Some carrots should come out the hole. Now we've just gotta put our disc down. Do you think that's enough? Yep. Oh, yeah. We might. No. Cool. Perfect. All right. So it might be hard to see, but the disc is disking, and then there is carrots coming out back there. So the idea is this channel. The rabbits see it and go, oh geez, there must be some feed down there. And they come and eat some carrots. All right, you'll see here, there's a trail, and then here's some carrots, more of a trail. And there, well there's a stray carrot. Some more carrots. So the idea is you give them a couple of free feeds and they, that gets them used to the carrots when you put the poison ones out, they come out here and they see, oh, a new trail. I'll look down here, here's some carrots to eat. And the idea is that they eat them and die. Then they don't affect the crops that we're growing. And they also leave more, uh, more untouched habitat for the na native species. All right, so Dad's gone off doing some more. And I thought I'd just show you, if you weren't aware, what rabbits do to our land. So these are rabbit warrens. You can see that one collapsed in when dad drove over it. That one, there's a rabbit holes, whatever you want to call them. Um, 
right under here, all under the tree. You can see these old ones here. Um, rabbits, like like any um, animal, needs a place to live. Sheep like to camp around trees. Um, rabbits dig holes. And it really degrades our land. Um, it affects the native trees that we've left here. As you can see, they dig around their root structure and it affects them. It also makes the land quite bare, which is not from the sheep, this is just from the rabbits. Rabbits are an introduced species. They're a pest. Um, they're similar to mice in the fact that they just cause all sorts of dramas um, for both native species, um, native trees, native animals, and they also cause a lot of troubles in loss of production. But you can see here, there's not even any trees around and these rabbit holes just make it impossible to drive over. It's really disappointing to see, but it makes me glad that we're, we're making this effort, doing this baiting, to try and get this invasive pest under control. I do have to say a big thank you to Alan Bennett, Craig Smith, and the Alexander boys. Um, I was late to picking up the cut up carrots this morning um, and I missed my turn to get mine. So they actually forewent some of theirs so that we could do some. So thank you very much to those people. Oh, we really appreciate it. We won't be late next time. So it's a few days since I did my last bit of video about the carrot baiting. Um, since then we have done one free feed, uh, or actually two free feeds, the one that I videoed and then another one uh, a few days later. Sorry about this wind. This morning Dad went to the land, local land care group who are the people that run the rabbit baiting campaign. Um, and he picked up the 1080 poison carrots. Now they come in a bucket like this. This is fully sealed. Um, you have to break the seal and take that off. And um, in there is 1080 poison carrots. All right, so we've got the bait layer behind the ute. Um, we're just opening the hatch up now. And you can see, it's just from the old carrots in there. Um, now we're going to put some of these in. So we've taken our first layer of seal off of the bucket. Um, and now you just go around and clip them all. So those are the poison carrots. Dad's got his safety gloves on. Um, so the poison carrots have a blue sort of a colour to them. That's the coating poisonous coating that's put on them. So a word of warning to you, if you see a funny looking carrot on the ground, don't eat it because it will not be good for you. Even if it's not poisonous, it still probably won't be good for you. Dad just closed the hatch up, the disc is down, the drum's in gear. We should be right to um, put some carrot bait out. 
So while this baiting doesn't stop the damage that the rabbits have done already, it will minimise any future damage, hopefully. Um, because it's all about keeping the numbers of rabbits to a manageable non-plague level. So you can see here we got some poison carrots in our furrow. Um, we finished this lot, so we pulled it out of gear, lifted the disc up, now we're on to the next stage. So you can see the trail out the front there, that's what we're following, trying to get it in the same spot each time, um, so that the rabbits run down it and find the carrots. All right, so in Victoria, it is required that we um, display these signs at our gates um, and notify our neighbours that we are doing some baiting. Um, so you can see we've put out poison carrot baits um, there to get rabbits, and we've laid it on the 8th of March, and we'll cover them up on the 15th. Now we'll just monitor that see how the, they're taking the baits um, and we may even cover them up before that so the when I say cover them up I mean we drag a harrow or or something to cover the un the untaken baits because it's obvious by then that the rabbits are not going to take them and that stops any other animals any off-target species they're called taking the baits and being killed for no reason um, and it also stops the sheep eating them um, so yeah we'll cover them up after probably seven days something like that so we'll we'll go and put these on the gate so that everyone can see that 1080 poison has been used on this property here we go she's up next to the gate now there'll be no excuse for not knowing another one. There we go. That's the gates for this property. So if you happen to see one of those signs around on a property, um, just know that somewhere on that property there has been poison baits laid, which will also mean that there could be animals that have died from the poison bait. Um, so yeah, just a bit of information for you. Be careful out there. Oh. It's hard work farming with one end. Um, that's it for the bait lane. We've got it all done. Um, yeah, it's an interesting process and something that's quite important to do for our business and for for the nature, or for the environment, I guess you say. Um, because rabbits, although they might be cute and fluffy, they can be quite destructive. So yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.